Alright, so today I'm doing a follow up video on my last video about why you can't get into Toshiba hardware setup. So, the reason for this is sometimes when you put the supervisor password on, it will lock you out of BIOS so you can't turn it off again. So, you wanna. There's a part in Registry Editor that can help you with this. So if you go to the run, the little run um, tab, which will, that has run with the little blue square beside it, you're going to want to open that. And then you're going to want to type in R E G edit and then press OK. No spaces or capitals. And then from there, you're going to get to this screen. And it shows my computer, my current, well, as you can see, all these options. So you're going to want to click on H key underscore local machines. And you should get the following subtitles, as you can see on my screen. Now, from here, you're going to want to drop down the software tab, which I will now do. Then from software, you're going to get all these options and it keeps going and going so from here you're gonna want to open Microsoft the Microsoft subheading and under Microsoft you should get all these and it keeps going down and you're going to want to scroll through these until you find the wit Windows subhead. And then you're going to want to click that. So you're going to find Windows and open it. Then go to under Windows. You are going to see all these. Current version help, HTML help, ITS, IT storage, shell, web folders, Windows error reporting, and Windows search. So click on current version. And then it's going to pop up like with all these. And then go down to policies. That's your next one to open. And then there's going to be another sub subheading called policies. And that is what contains your supervisor password on hardware setup. So, as you can see in mine, I've already deleted it because I didn't want... I didn't want to have anything to do with that file at all. I was just so fed up. But if you go into that subheading, the file in there will contain the restriction on hardware setup. So if you delete that file, you will now be able to get into hardware setup. And just to show you guys that it does work, this is my control panel. 
and under hardware setup. You can now get right into your Toshiba hardware setup subtopic. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.